we just experienced an incredible 36 hours in the Sahara Desert, where we danced, learned the nomadic way of life, rode camels, and soaked in the breathtaking beauty of the desert. Today marks the last leg of our four-day tour as we journey back to Marrakesh, looking forward to more awesome experiences along the way. We enjoyed our last sunrise in the desert before heading out. You guys ready for another uh, crazy dune ride? Is that what we're about to do? I think so. I don't know how it goes. I'm ready. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yes. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Have All the best. Have a nice day. You too. All right, switch cars. Back with Daddy. Ready to rock and roll. Yalla. That's what you have to say. Yalla. Yalla. First order of business is coffee. And we got half and half, which they call nice nice here. So we just arrived to the town of Rasani. We're going to walk through their market here. He said the market is three days during the week. I love the smells in this market. Everything mm. feels really fresh. Yeah. Speak English. Welcome. What are you buying, Mom? I'm gonna buy some saffron. One gram is forty. Is that oregano? Yes. They have these like little red clay pots, and they're hard, but you put water and rub your finger, and it's lipstick. She's so cool. <laughs> wow, it's like clay with red paint. It's pretty heavy duty. Yeah. We go to a lot of markets, so we see typically like the same things, you know, in different places. But this is something new that I've never seen before. That is so interesting. I love that. Cleaning the teeth? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like a toothpick. Yeah, wow. yeah exactly. Like a travel, you could get a, like a little travel pack of toothbrushes yeah. on the go. You can buy a donkey over here, and you can buy your kid a bicycle over there. <laughs> This is such a, a raw local market. So much produce and spices, but also lots of, you know, other things. Clothes, bikes, animals, everything. It does not get more authentic than this. Adi just told us that these donkeys not only bring all the goods to the market for them to sell, but they're also for sale as well. If anybody comes around and wants to buy one, you can negotiate a price. They like to make a lot of noise too. He didn't like me. Deeds Village bus and basically they come in on market day some people might come in with them or they give a list to the bus driver of things they need from the market I could have spent all day in that market it was so authentic and real Oh, such a great experience. I feel like I could make a whole video just on that. Oh my gosh, it was so fun. I loved just seeing all of the vendors and I feel like we saw some stuff we don't normally see. 
So we just made a quick stop after the market. He's checking right now and see if we can have tea with this local family. And it looks like they said yes. Yeah. I kept You're the secret. I kept That's the a good trick. trick. I do. I guess. Let's see if the family oh. That's what we were talking before. Oh. <laughs> when you said oh. That's so sweet. He's like, I'm gonna check with this local family. It's his family. Oh, that's, oh, that's cute. Yeah, we can meet his wife. Addy gave us a tour of his beautiful home and introduced us to his wife. A beautiful couple. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> he explained to us how houses are traditionally laid out and we were able to get to know his wife as we enjoyed tea and cookies together. See, there's a big plasma, I told you. Absolutely. <laughs> Modern mo nomads. Yeah. Hey, delicious, nice thank you. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, thank you. Back on the road, Shoot, they were just the sweetest hosts ever. That was a nice little tea break. It's a beautiful home too. Beautiful home, beautiful family. Eight. Eight means family in the Berber language. Oh, quick lunch stop. And it's right on time because we all need to stretch. Hungry, I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Ooh, we ain't bad or nice. Thank you. Uh, no, what do you think of the best soup in Morocco? It, it, it's, it's it is good. the best soup that we've had so far. It's really good. Mm. It's like warming my soul at the moment. Wow. Ooh. I got chicken, couscous, and veggies. I got mm. lamb couscous. And I went with Mohammed's recommendation, which was the meatball tagine. The best thing about tagines is they're so different, you mm. really can't get sick of them. You can order a variety. That is true. I've had them like five nights in a row, and I'm <laughs> still trying new ones every time. <laughs> Perfect, guys. So nice to meet you all. Thank you, so you. Thank you man. Thanks for all the love. Thank you. I'm full. So full. So yummy. So yummy. And the best servers. Oh my gosh. I know. They were so sweet. Wow. Look at this. Adi just dropped us off in the middle of this gorge for us to walk through. We have like these red canyons on the sides of us with this river running through. It's so nice, right? Yes, it's beautiful. That was an incredible stop. This gorge is so beautiful and huge, the colors. We had nice little sun flares coming through. I love all the locals hanging out by the river. Beautiful, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, my man. All right, made it to our room. We'll see you guys tomorrow morning. We are just, uh, oh, the bed's comfy. <laughs> We're just gonna relax tonight. Good night, guys. Okay, good morning, you guys. Before we start today, I wanna talk to you guys about Bite. If you've never heard of Bite, Bite are invisible liners that can give you the perfect smile from your own home, or in my case, while on the road. I just got my liners in the mail and have been using them for the past few weeks. It's super easy to pop in every night, and it comes with whitener, which I believe is already working. I can already notice my bites changing. I can't wait to show you guys my final results. If you guys are interested in Bite or want more information, check out the link in the description box below. Now back to the video. Today we're heading to a nearby village, it's actually very famous, it's been in lots of movies and TV series, including Gladiator, the Game of Thrones series, and The Mummy. I'm pretty excited to go check it out. Okay, and we're off. Our first stop was Orzazat, where a guide was waiting for us. All this, the old town of Orzazat. Imagine in the old time it was for the control of caravans. 
He explained that this used to be a crossing point for African traders on their way to northern Morocco and Europe. He walked us through the city showing us how these unique houses were built. Then the bamboo mm -hmm. and the mud on straw like that. Oh, this is wow. the terraces. If your buddy, not no my bag. friend. No bag. No bag. No bag. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Our second stop was Ayat Ben Hadju. This ancient village is renowned for traditional mud brick houses and has served as a backdrop for so many films and television series. Our guide took us through the village, showing us different backdrops from Gladiator, Lawrence of Arabia, and Game of Thrones. This is such a unique place. It's pretty awesome. Our guide's family is actually from here. He just showed us his mother's house and his father's house. <laughs> Gladiator, 3,500 extra, it's with the Russell crew. Mm. it's him. So our guy was actually an extra in this movie, there he is, which is pretty crazy. One of the highlights of the tour was learning about how Berbers used to send secret messages. We use the saffron and the tea with sugar. Now you can see two colors, saffron and indigo. After when they heat it with a fire, the tea becomes up like this. They would use saffron to create a type of invisible ink and then hide the messages within the transport animals and then the receiver could wow. reveal the message using heat. See, they smells like a cream brulee. <laughs> because uh, of the sugar. Oh. This is the Instagram. Yeah, the Instagram oh, wow. money. Wow. Yeah. So the black is a tea with sugar, the yellow is a saffron, the blue is indigo. what our guide was explaining, this is the highest point above the Kasba. They were on the lookout for the caravans to come in. They'd be coming in all the way on the desert from camels. In the wintertime, they would change from camels and be donkeys and mules to actually get them over the Atlas Mountains to the sea or Europe. Besides goods, it was a big slave transportation in the time. earthquake that hit here in September that this town was very lucky. There was a huge wedding taking place that day and all the people or most of the people were out of their homes, especially the clay homes that there was damage to. The homes made out of cement, um, there was no damage. Thank goodness for those, that couple yeah. getting married yes. saved the day. Such an incredible view. I don't want to get any further. What an incredible view to end this trip. Oh, this Sahara trip was so epic. Thank you, Holiday Morocco Tours and our amazing guide, Adi. Such a spectacular time. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate all you guys. See you guys in our next video in Marrakesh. You are welcome, guys. I'm happy that you enjoyed it. I will be so happy. To see you again, maybe in another year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. So nice meeting you, man. Hope to see you again. Thank you very much you, for the good time with you. Oh, I mean, thank you. Take care.